find the equation of locus of a point P such that P a square plus P B square is equal to 2 C square where a is a comma 0 and b is minus a comma 0. So given are these two points and we need to find the locus of a point P. Let us take P as x comma y be any point on the locus and the condition which is given is P a square plus P B square is equals to 2 C square. So we need to find P a square and P B square using the formula of distance between two points which is x minus x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. Now for finding p a square let us take p and a as two points and substitute in this formula and take p as x1 y1 and a as x2 y2 and for finding p b square let us take these two points as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and substitute in this formula of distance between two points. So this will be, these are the two points and now let substituting in this formula. So that will be x minus 1 whole x minus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square plus p b square p b square will be x plus a whole square plus y minus 0 whole square is equals to 2 c square. Now this x minus a whole square is in the form of a minus b whole square. We will expand it in the form of a minus b whole square which is a square plus b square minus 2ab. So that will be x square plus a square minus 2ax plus y minus 0 is y, y square is y square only. And now we will expand this x plus a whole square in the form of a plus b whole square which is a square plus b square plus 2ab. So here x square plus a square plus 2ax plus y minus 0 is y, y square is equals to 2c square. Now we can add here x square plus x square which is 2x square and a square plus a square is 2, 2a square and this is minus 2ax and plus 2x that will be 0 and y square plus y square is 2y square is equals to 2c square. Now in here we can take 2 common because 2 is present in all the terms so we can take 2 common and cancel with this 2. So this is the equation of the locus and we can even transpose this c square here so we can write this as x square plus a square plus y square minus c square is equals to 0. So this Find the equation of locus of point P if the line segment joining a 2 comma 3 and b minus 1 comma 5 subtends a right angle at P. It is given that A and B are two points and there is a point P. We need to find the locus of that point. So let us take P as x comma y be any point on the locus. So now here the condition which is given is P is subtending a right angle for the line segment A and B. So it means it is it, A, B and P are forming a right angle triangle which is right angled at P angle APB is equals to 90 degrees. So the purpose of giving this as a right angle triangle is we can find PA, PB and P, PA, PB and AB. These three will be the three sides of the right angle triangle and we can get the relation of this right angle triangle using Pythagoras theorem which says the square of the hypotenuse is equals to the sum of the squares of the other two sides means this is the hypotenuse which is ab square ab square is equals to ap square plus pb square so the condition will be a p a square plus pb square is equals to ab square so we will find the distances of p a p b and ab square and substitute in the formula Using the formula of d square is equals to x minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. This is the formula for distance between two points we are using in all the problems. So first we will find p a square. For finding p a square we will take p and a. p as x1 y1 and a as x2 y2 and we are substituting in the formula of x1 minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So that will be x minus 2 whole square plus y minus 3 whole square. Now we will find pb square. So we will take the points p and b 
and substitute in the formula of d square which is x min minus x2 whole square plus y1 minus y2 whole square. So here this will be x minus of minus 1 is x plus 1 and y minus 5 whole square is equals to ab square. For finding ab square we will take the two points a and b as x1 y1 and x2 y2 and substitute in the formula again. So that will be 2 minus of minus 1 plus 1 whole square plus 3 minus 5 whole square. Now we will expand this x minus 2 whole square which is in the form of a minus b whole square that will be x square minus 4x plus 4 and this is also same formula a minus b whole square y square plus 9 minus 6y and this is in the form of a plus b whole square so that will be x square plus 1 plus 2x and y minus 5 whole square is in the form of a minus b whole square so y square plus 10y so y square minus 10y plus 25 and this 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 square and 3 minus 5 is minus 2, minus 2 whole square we are writing here. Now adding all this x square plus x square is 2x square and y square plus y square is 2y square and minus 4x plus 2x will be minus 2x and minus 6y minus 10y will be minus 16y and the constants now 4 plus 6, 4 plus 9 is 13, 13 plus 1 is 14, 14 plus 25 is 39 and this is 9 plus 4, 13, transpose here so it, it you will get 26. Since 2 is common here in this equation you can take 2 common so that will be 2 times of x square plus y square minus x minus 8y plus 13 is equals to 0. So transpose this 2 on this side so 0 divided by 2 will be 0. So the remaining equation will be x square plus y square minus x minus 8y plus 13 is equals to 0. This is the equation of the locus.